Hey everyone, hello everyone, welcome back. This is the Once and Future King once again. Today, today I'm going to be reacting to another anime trailer for the upcoming fall 2021 anime season. This one is called My Senpai is Annoying. So, first of all, I'm going to read the synopsis here on my anime list. Igarashi Futaba's new job would be great if her senpai, Takeda Harumi, wasn't so incredibly annoying. Futaba hates his laugh, she hates how big he is, and she really hates that he treats her like a little kid. Just because Futaba is short and looks young doesn't make her a kid, and just because she spends so much time with Takeda doesn't mean she sees him as anything but an annoying senpai. Or does she? So this one is one I'm interested in checking out. With some skepticism going in. But, I'm still interested in checking it out. Because it, the premise is my, seems minorly similar to other anime, like, say, you know, Uzaki-chan just wants to hang out, or Teasing Master Takagi-san, or Please Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. All of which I, are anime that I have kind of complicated feelings on, especially Nagatoro. Um, each one of them are ones I'd actually like to make videos on in the future, analyzing them in more depth. Um, and sort of, sort of just sharing my thoughts, especially Nagatoro. Um, so I am going in with a bit of skepticism. But this one doesn't seem too bad, though. It seems kind of pretty wholesome, like... I don't know. It'll depend on how it's executed. It'll depend on how... I'm like... If he's aware he's being as annoying as he is, like, is he doing it on purpose because he knows that it annoys her? Or is he just kind of oblivious to it, you know? Does, does he, like, enjoy having her around, but he's just oblivious that his actions are, are annoying her? And if she does end up falling in love with him, which she probably will, you know, is it something that she's done of her own accord, or is it sort of just like a... Fuck, what's the word I'm looking for here? I don't know. Anyways, it'll dep I'm going in with skepticism, but it'll depend on how it's executed. So, let's watch the trailer. So, trailer's longer than most, actually. Almost three minutes. So, trailer's beginning in three, two, one, go. I think I've already found my new favorite anime song. よく頑張ったな。ちょっと遊びに行かない。いがらしちゃん、いつもと少し違いませんでした。私の朝の一杯はこれだ。もっと取らせてほしいな。お二人ともあれをご存知なんですか本当に仲がいいんですね。竹田
Well, that was a trailer. Wow. Okay, so, yeah, like I said, I think that's going to be one of the best anime of the season if it delivers on the tra on what the trailer gave us. I went into the trailer with a lot of skepticism, but now I'm excited. <sighs> From the trailer, there are still a few things I am confused by. One, it's kind of unclear if he's aware that she... Nah, now nah, I want to say that's not confusing at all. It seems like he's very much oblivious that his actions annoys her. Uh, he just seems, he seems to be, from the trailer, he seems to be very, very good natured. He just, he's, you know, a senpai who just wants to help out his kohais in any way he can. Especially towards the end of the trailer where, like, she messed up her work and he took responsibility for it. Willingly. Like, so he seems like a very, very good natured man. Okay. So he seems like very oblivious that his actions can often annoy her. Uh, but also it seems very... The thing that is still confusing is it, it doesn't really seem to clarify if like... If like she's had a thing for him. It's, it seems like she is definitely falling in love with him. But, it, but it's unclear to me at least if she was in love with him from the beginning and was just denying it by saying he's annoying. Or if she d legitimately did think he was annoying at first, but then he eventually, or she eventually grew to enjoy having him around and the way he acts. And then she starts denying it because she thought it was annoying previously. Still kind of unclear on this, but that was a damn good trailer. I think this has been pushed into my top three. I don't know, two maybe, most anticipated anime of the season. Like, Komi's still at the very, very top, because I read the manga. I'm actually 300 chapters in right now, really fucking good. But this is really close for me now. This seems like it's going to be a really, like, heartwarming, wholesome, romantic comedy that I'm going to be in so much pain waiting for each new episode every season. Or every, every week. <laughs> so, yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. I'm, I love it when I go to, into a trailer expecting to hate it or expecting, or just with mild skepticism, and I come out in, incredibly pleasantly surprised. That's a great feeling. So anyways, let me know in the comment section down below if you're excited for this series. I believe it's based on a manga like most anime are. Especially anime like these. Yep, Man, manga that's only three years old, in fact. So, you know, if you've read the manga, let me know your thoughts on it, uh, on that. All right, if you, if you, and let me know your thoughts on this video in general. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content in the future. Hit that like button, and comment down below because that helps the video. Share it around anywhere you can to help and try and help get it more attention. And hit that notification bell so you always know when I upload a new video. I usually upload videos every Monday morning at 8 a.m. Central Time. However, these videos I've been uploading pretty quickly, like every two to three days, because I'm, because I'm doing a lot of them. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time.